hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel so in this video i'm going to talk about ios 15.1 update so yes guys yesterday night i have received ios 15.1 rc update on my iphone 10r as you can see the update came in about 5.46 gb on my iphone 10r so ios 15.1 rc that means the release candidate is out so probably by next week you can expect the public release in this video we are going to talk about the update size and update details and what are the new features that you can expect with ios 15.1 so with that note let's start the video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video Alright guys, so the first things first, let me go to the settings and let me go to the general and about section. As you can see, if I click on software version, it clearly says iOS 15.1 and the new build number is 19B74. Now yesterday I had taken a screenshot as you can see from the screenshot over here, let me show you. So before updating, this was 19B5068A. This was the screenshot from iOS 15.1 beta 4 and as you can see there is no new modem firmware update. The previous modem firmware version was 4.01.01 and after updating there is no change in the modem firmware. And also talking about the available space before updating it was 27.85 GB and after updating it has sort of just increased it is 28.57 GB. So there is no increase in available space as well. Now if you are not able to see the updates go to the general and click on the software updates and make sure your phone is connected to Wi-Fi if you're still not able to see the update click on this automatic updates make sure these are turned off and if turned off then turn this back on then check for the updates now keep in mind that if you are having you know iOS 15.0.2 on your phone you would not be able to see this update because this is a developers and beta updates so next week when this iOS 15.1 RC gets rolled out for public you will get the iOS 15.1 public update so if you have developers beta or public beta profile installed in your phone then definitely you will get this update now talking about the new features as i've showed you the update details so ios 15.1 brings bunch of new features so the most important and the most awaited feature is share play and screen sharing so as you can see there is this you know facetime option is there on my phone so if i click on this facetime and somebody who's on ios 15.1 calls me on this FaceTime, I would be able to kind of do the share play which Apple demonstrated with iOS 15 presentation. But this was iOS 15.1 that brings again the share play and the screen sharing back. So share play means if you're on a call with your friends with FaceTime, you can actually, you know, listen to music and both of you can actually enjoy the same music. You can enjoy the same movie, things like that. And screen sharing is basically as the name suggests, while you're on call, you can basically share the screen. So that's what the name suggests and these are the two new main features that you can expect with iOS 15.1. Apart from that if you're having iPhone 13 Pro or 13 Pro Max the ProRes video support is here. So this is an iPhone 10R. I don't have you know ProRes support for this iPhone 10R. but if you are one of those guys who holds iPhone 13 Pro or iPhone 13 Pro Max then definitely ProRes support is here with iOS 15.1. Now talking about the changes there are no new changes because I have been reviewing this iOS 15.1 beta for quite a long time and this is the final build and now talking about the bug fixes people were complaining about the storage bug which actually is fixed as I have talked about that in my previous videos and also talking about you know some of the new features as you can see there is this weather icon so previously the weather was actually not getting detected correctly and as you can see it's raining right now in my city so previously before updating sometime while it is connected to network it was showing the wrong animation in the background so those are getting fixed good to see that and apart from that talking about the battery life i've just updated my device so let's have a look at the battery health so before updating the battery health was 89 percent and after updating thankfully there is no drop in battery health so keep in mind again that this ios updates does not cause the battery health drop this actually you know checks the physical capacity of 
of the battery again so talking about the battery life as you can see from here you know this is not my primary device i use this device as a secondary device and as you can see from this graph over here so these are the application that i basically use so i have said this in my ios 15.1 beta 4 video that this battery life is improved and with ios 15.1 i hope the battery life would be greatly improved over ios 15.0.2 anyway whenever i will receive ios 15.1 update on my iphone 12 that would be the stable update I will definitely review that software so make sure that you subscribe to the channel so with that being said we are coming to the end of this video because in this video I just wanted to talk about this iOS 15.1 update and if you are using iOS 15.1 beta series of softwares then definitely do go ahead and check for the updates you might have already gotten the update so make sure you update to iOS 15.1 now talking about whether you should install iOS 15.1 RC or not I would say iOS 15.1 RC that stands for release candidate is kind of a stable software so release candidate is the exact software version that actually rolls out to the public and unless and until there is any major issues that found within a week so as of recording to this video this is today's 19 so we can expect the iOS 15.1 public rollout on 26th or 27th most so definitely I am excited to have iOS 15.1 as a public release for my iPhone 12 so let me know which software are you on iOS 15.0.2 or have you already updated to iOS 15.1 RC let me know that in the comment section below with that being said you know thanks so much for watching the video if you have liked the video give this video a thumbs up and as I said before your one subscription you know gives me a lot of motivation to make more of this kind of contents with that being said I will see you on my next video. Bye.